yes, there's a lot of hours gone into it, a lot of viewing, um, a lot of analysis, especially around work ethic. Um, you know, we've, uh, we've had the opportunity to connect with a lot of those players over a number of months and give a little bit of feedback here and there through the Super Rugby coaches. So, um, yeah, I look, ultimately, uh, the team picked itself. We're, uh, we're really happy with it. We, we did have a smaller number than, than the group we named today, but for obvious reasons, we need to make sure we've got plenty of cover when we head to New Zealand. Um, yeah, there could be the opportunity for us when we return from New Zealand, um, let's say if we've had a few injuries, to, to make some replacements and bring them into our bubble because we'll have to quarantine again for another two weeks. So um, there is a chance for those who have missed out to maybe um, get a redemption. I just wonder if you could just shine a little bit of a light on the reasons behind some of the guys who missed out, particularly uh, Nisarani, uh, Kurandrani, uh, Jack Dempsey. Yep, no, sorry, I thought, was, I thought you were going to keep going then. Um, yeah, look, I'm not going to I'm not going to talk about it in detail around why those players missed out. But if you looked at Issy, for example, um, look, we know what he's capable of, but we've picked on form, and we've constantly talked about earning the right to play, and we think others have played better. Uh, he's been given feedback throughout the comp, and obviously spoke to him again this morning. Uh, so he knows the shifts um, that we want to see in his game. And then it's, it's likewise with the other guys. Um, if you look at uh, Jack, uh, he's been excellent with the ball in hand. Uh, but again, he's been given feedback around the shifts we want to see. And, and likewise with um, with Jock and um, who else did you mention? Uh, Tavita. Um, you know, we, we've, we've spoken to those guys and uh, they're pretty clear on the messaging. Okay. Noel Alessio hasn't played for, for about two months, but picked him. What was it that made you think, yeah, he'll be, he'll be right to go? Yeah, I mean, if I, um, if I had a game last night, he'd have been fit to play. Um, so he's got through a fair bit of training. Um, uh, he was in great form prior to his injury and, and prior to COVID. Um, we see a massive upside in him, and, and so uh, he was an easy selection. Yeah, barring injury, which he's he's recovered well, and a handful of other uncapped Brumbies in there: Lenny Ikatau, Eri Simoni, and Tom Wright. What have you seen from those guys that you've you've liked so far this year? Oh, look, they're all really good players, aren't they? Um, you know, I think uh, Ira's um, got really good balance to his game. You know, carries hard, uh, aggressive defender, got a good kicking game, good communicator. So. You know, if you look at all those guys, we think they're ready to go. Uh, Lenny's probably a bit of a bolter. If you looked at the squad, he hasn't had a lot of Super Rugby minutes, but we see a lot on him. Uh, we think he's got a big future, and, and we're keen to get him in the tent, um, spend the next three months with him. Um, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, Tom, Tom's tom been a really strong finisher. Um has um, obviously got a, a few years of rugby under his belt now and, and very comfortable. And, and so, um, yeah, no, look, we're, we're really excited for all those boys. Um, Dave, by way of your tens, obviously you've gone with Will and Noah, um, a few younger pups there, obviously, to Tamur and O'Connor. What role do you see those younger guys having in that squad? Like, are they just there to make up the numbers or, you know, learn off the older guys or, or are they sort of potentially pushing for, for a debut this year? No, we, we want everyone you know, pushing for a starting spot. Um, yeah, you, know, you would have thought at the start of the year, you know, James hasn't played a lot of 10 recently. Uh, Matt hasn't played a lot of 10. So they've both been more comfortable probably in midfield and, and James all over the place. But, um, you know, they've been excellent. I, th I think James has done a great job running the Reds' um, back line. And so he's given us a lot of confidence that he could run the ship at 10. And likewise with Matt, he's probably played a lot more 12 recently uh, for the Rebels. But you got a couple of very experienced guys here, played 50-odd tests each and, and uh, keen to be the 10s. And, and then, you know, like Noah was in great form prior to injury. So, and then you got young Will um, snapping at the heels. So, you know, they'll, hopefully they'll learn a lot off those more experienced guys. But the idea is that they put pressure on to get a starting jersey. Filippo Dungunu. Would he have even been on the radar at the start of 
Super Rugby AU? Um, yeah, he was. Um, but um, we, we, we've had a number of people have come through late. You know, even even look at the Force Boys. There's three of them that I spoke to this morning who, um, you know, three months ago weren't even in our discussions. Um, so I think that's a real positive. It's the advantage of having five super sides. You know, we... Um, we get an opportunity to have more players out there and and uh, more opportunity for young kids to come through and develop. So, um, but look, Filippo, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for him. Um, incredibly aggressive defender. He's not a big man. Uh, his ability post-tackle again last night would have got a couple of turnovers. Can beat you in a phone box. And, um, you know, and his ability with the ball above, above his head, you know, so... Yeah, I think um, he's got a massive upside uh, and exciting. And look, we've got a number of those those players in the squad who are still a bit green, but um, you know could uh, go go and play a hell of a lot of tests for Australia. Handy number seven too in Fraser McWright. Yep, yep, he's um, he's done a great job post tackle. I think his decision making's improved heaps over the last couple of months and. Yeah, look, I think it's a real credit to to Brad Thorne. He's um, he's been prepared to give young kids a crack, um, and because of that, we've seen a lot of them come through and get exposed. So, um, yeah, he's made some tough decisions over the last couple of years to let experienced guys go, and um, they're starting to reap the rewards now. Harry Wilson is a guy who, at the beginning of Super Rugby, was just sort of taking the comp by storm. Defences have probably focused him on him a little bit more in the recent weeks. But um, what do you like about him and what he brings and his attributes as a guy? Is uh, I think Razor Robinson was was um, you know full of praise for him earlier in the year. Yeah, the storming game, didn't he? As, as did Lucan against um, the Crusaders early on. Um, yeah, look, he, he's gone really well. Um, he's a big man, um, good momentum onto the ball. He runs good lines. Um, he's actually really become quite a dominant defender, um, you know, and he's explosive. So, um, you know, all that stuff at eight, he's, he's still a young man. He's, he's, he's still got a bit of work to do around um, sort of polishing those rough edges. But, you know, for a kid, he's um, made a hell of an impact and hence the reason he's in the Wallabies now.